Hi, everyone. Uh, good evening. My name is Viviana Vega, and I'm a financial consultant here at Algorithm as part of our Monterey, Mexico branch. Today, I'll be presenting to you another as and future from the 2022 R1 version in Acumatica, which is related to the GL allocations functionality. In Acumatica ERP, you can create and maintain allocation rules, which will define how allocations are to be performed and help you transact allocations automatically based on your definitions. You usually create an allocation rule to automate the process of periodically distributing amounts posted to a particular account among different account or sub-account pairs. If you spread company expenses between departments, such as utility, payroll, insurance, vehicle expenses, etc., you can greatly reduce the time you spend calculating the amount of each department expenses as you can simply create a rule and have Acumatica help you distribute and release such expenses. So in prior versions, if you had different accounts with sub-account rules that were similar, you had to create a specific allocation rule for each one. In the current version, you can use one rule to combine all those different allocation rules. This is a huge improvement as you'll be able to reduce time setting up and maintaining your allocations, which is useful when you have several accounts or sub-account combinations with the same allocation rules. So let me show you how this is done. Here in the software, you can notice I have four allocations that I want to consolidate into a single one. I have utility, supply, marketing, and report expenses, which are allocated by headcount. So let's go take a look at how they are set up. You can notice that what this allocation does is that it takes information from a specific account and allocates it based on a percentage to these different branches. You can see as we move forward that the branch allocation is the same, but the accounts are different for these four separate scenarios. What I'd like to do is to replace all of this and instead of having a rule for each specific account, I can create a new allocation grouping all of them. So let's create a new allocation. Let's give this new allocation a more generic description because we are now grouping several expenses. Let's change our start date to January, 2022. And I'm going to leave this allocation through the whole year. I can then list all of my source accounts here. Let's start with utilities. I'm going to move forward with supplies, which is six three. Next, I have marketing. And finally, I have my reverse account. If I move over to the destination accounts tab, I'm going to emulate what I had on my other allocation rules. So I'm going to enter the percentages as I had them. And if you remember correctly, those allocations were branch based. So I'm going to leave this account blank. Next is surfaced. Now notice how nice this is. When I go to the percentage field, uh, Acumatic is automatically calculating the remaining percentage amount based on the previous information that I've already entered. So that means less math for me. Now that I'm done, let's go to the cool part. If I go back to the allocation tab, you can notice I have this cute little checkbox that says allocate source accounts separately. I'm going to tick this. And by selecting this checkbox, you can notice that I'm telling Acumatica 
that a specific account or sub account will not be mandatory on my destination account tab. So what will happen is that for each line on the source accounts tab, the system will define a list of related account or sub account pairs with their amounts and the amount will be distributed based on the information listed on the destination accounts tab. So if the account column on the destination accounts tab is empty, the account combination on the source accounts tab will be copied to the transaction. I now need to save my allocation, which gives me my allocation ID. And now that I've done that, instead of having four different allocations to process, I can run a single one. So let's process this one. And you'll see when this is complete that I can open up my allocation ID and see the GL transaction that was done. If I arrange these for better visuals, you can see that I have my source account and then all the distribution accounts corresponding to this allocation and based on the allocation parameters that I entered. So if you saw that this was already easy, notice how much simple we've made this by combining all of our rules into one. The only thing left for me here is to release the transaction. So this functionality improves an already great feature in Acumatica by allowing us to allocate costs as quickly and easily as possible, reducing the number of allocation rules to maintain and making the allocation tracking more straightforward. This will allow us to increase efficiency and save some valuable time for our, our accounting teams. I hope you find this really useful. Thank you very much for your time.